was Honest Dan's Late. Who likes maths in here, chat? Can we get some hype if you like maths? Uh, on Steam, it's Micro Wasp Seekers. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Last Stand is also a popular game. <laughs> so do you think I'd get in trouble, Devious, is it, for calling a, name, a game after it? But, um... We are going to check out Honest Dan's Leet next. So Honest Dan's Leet was a number-based game that was made for Crash Jam. Crash Jam gives a random number. Uh, it's a random kind of jam theme generator. So you place in a word, and based on the word you put in, it will generate, it will use that as a seed for a random theme generator. So everyone put in their username, their Twitch username, and it gives everyone a different theme. Uh, but you can check that people use the right theme that way. Uh, so we had a, a theme which was about like a, a maths. I can't remember what the, the actual theme was, but it's something to do with numbers and uh, tiles and, and something like that. So, um, yeah. Uh, another way to look at it though, Devious, could you say when people look for Last Stand that it could come up with our game as well? Or do you just think there would be a hundred articles about the main game and so and they'd all be more traffic than my smaller game? I guess that's a point. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is uh, Honest Dan's Leet. Uh, let's check it out. Is there, I think, oh, crikey, did I make a, yeah, I did make a HTML5 version of it. Uh, let's open this. Uh, I, I like to play them in uh, Edge because it runs better for me. Chrome just has issues most of the time. Uh, again, this is a mobile perspective one. So I will zoom in. Uh-oh. Okay, it's just loading, that's fine. Here we go, Honest Dan's Leet. Uh, this is actually on the, on the Play Store as well. So you are able to play Honest Dan's Leet if you wanted to. Uh, I don't know if that works. It looks like a very weird URL. But if anyone wanted to play along, then you're welcome to. So randomize the leap block value. Oh yeah, yeah, this was like a, a dev build where you could try different options out. Drag to move controls uh, on by default. Inv okay, start game. Okay, so you first you choose the mathematical operation, then you choose a tile for the left part of the equation, then you choose uh, a second tile that's the second part of the operation, and the result is stored in the second tile's position. That really doesn't make much sense. As much as I tried, I know what it means. But that doesn't really make sense. Okay, so matching tiles. After making the move, the new tile can match with its tiles to the north, east, west, or south. Like this. So if we uh, match the, uh, this tile to make a seven, it would then match with that and it would combine them. You earn points based on how many you combine. Brill. And then how to win is you need to get a tile up to the leap value, 1337. Uh, once you create one of those, it makes a permanent leap block. Um, if you get two leap blocks merged together, you win the game. Or you can keep trying to get a high score. So uh, we even had like color schemes and that, different ones that you could unlock, I think it was. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's check this out. So uh, no time pressure here. If, so it said you choose the mathematical equation. So we, we, we're on the plus. We can't choose these. They're locked. Uh, we choose a number. And then we drag it to the one that we want to do it to. So 4 plus 7 is 11. Okay. So we have a turns thing that's going down. So if we want to match with that, can we do... Uh, we want 9 plus 2, for example, right? Let's do that. We get score for it. So our score's coming up here. It looks like we're going to level up uh, as we get score. So you can play it quite simply. But you're not going to, like, win the objective of the game there. Like, we can get 7 and 7. Cool. What happens when we level up? Let's try that. Um, so we can get ourselves a 6 plus 6 there, and then 3 plus 9 would give us a 12. There we go. Ooh, leveled up. When you level up, uh, your remaining turns are rem uh, filled back up. Okay, that's good. You can also redeem one of the two bonuses. You can either take a bonus challenge, or you can choose a new mathematical operator. Okay, a new mathematical operator. Oh, you don't get a choice. 
It's just that's what happens when you run out of mathematical on, on operators. Look at the HD on the padlocks. <laughs> this stands for honest and padlock. All right, so we're going to go for multi uh, subtraction. So now we can do things like 9 minus 4 is 5. Oh, it's the other, other way around. That's what there was an option at the start for whether or not it should be subtraction. So uh, if we take 1 from 7, 6. So it's inverted. It was an option that I was playing with. Uh, just because it seemed more logical to kind of do it that way. Um, so... Uh, da, 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 a locksmith named Paddy. That'd be good. Hello, Littlewood. Welcome back. How's your um, paper rock scissors going? All right, let, let's try and uh, work towards the, the leveling up a little bit then, shall we? So we'll go to plus. Let's go... The higher the score, the better. So let's... We've got 16 here. Let's, let's build this one up a bit. 25. And you see we're getting a times 3 on this. So that's going to give us more points. So this seems good, right? So why can't we just keep building and building? Well, we're going to find out. Uh-oh. Okay, what's this? Hang on. Turn boosts. When a new tile is generated, a turn boost has a chance to be placed on the tile. A turn boost can't be used as part of an equation. Okay, so you can't move it. But when you run uh, when you run out of turns, game's over. Your turns are uh, refilled to max every time you level up. Matching a turn boost tile will also refill your, till, your turn. So this, you can't drag it onto anything. But if I can get a 7 next to it, I, I get to claim it. So I do this. My turns get back up to 20. All righty. Uh, let's carry on. We were building up here, right? So if we want to get 25 again, we would want to add an 8 to that, right? There we go. Kapow, level up. Let's redeem our uh, multiplication. Now this is getting a bit easier to do. So if we just do like 8 times 9, 72. Uh, and then we need to get those numbers again, right? So we'll get a 3 and a 6 together. We'll get an 8 through adding a 2 to a 6. Do we have a 6? No, we can add it to a 5 and then add a 1. Oh, crikey, accidentally matched. Okay, we got our 8 there. Uh, and then we did 8 times 9, I think it was, but we need it to go there. So let's add 9 to 0. Uh-oh, uh bombs of a... Okay. So after every non-matching move, there's a chance a bomb could be placed on the tile. Bombs can't be used as part of an equation. If you don't defuse the bomb, it'll be game over. The amount you need to defuse will be... Uh, you need to match to defuse it will be shown on the bomb. So we need to get 9 here. The bomb is ticking out. So we just need to add 2 plus 7. It'll match with that. Kapow. Great. Not a problem. Our turns are still going down, though, but we wanted to uh, times uh, 8 by 9, I think it was, in order to get 72. So let's go ahead and get a 4 added onto this. It's not obvious enough which one you've pressed on with these. It is like when you see the difference, but when you're looking at them at a glance, it's not super obvious. Um, okay, so we were going to times these. And that gets me a big old score. Great, we've leveled up again. Now we've got divisions. Okay, so um, we're trying to get to 1337. Three, that was the purpose of the game on this. So we're going to add you together to get a 10. 10s are quite useful. It helps with the working out the, the math side of things. So we get a 10 in this corner as well. Uh, they can be useful for us. So let's try and get to 130, maybe. So, uh, and then we can times it by 10 to get 1330. But you always got to remember, you could spawn a bomb. So while you're building up to a huge number, you need to have a backup plan to defuse the said bomb. That was the kind of game mechanic. So 13, let's get started by adding these together. Let's add a 3 onto it. There, okay, that's turned into a bomb. That ruined our plan. We need to add 4 to that. Defuses it. Brill. Okay, let's try this again then. So we want to get 13. We're going to add these two together. Nice afros once. It's good enough for me. We got 130. We can times that by 10 to get close, but we don't want to do that until we've got maybe a 37 to add on to it as well, right? Ah, the pigos has returned. Thank you for updating. The gift was nice to see, but the pig horse is the most complete icon. Uh, okay, 37. So what we could do is get uh, 7 times 5 plus 2. Let's get a 5. Let's make a 7 from these. Let's times them together to get that. We need to plus 2 onto that. Don't go bomb. Oh, it's a bomb. Okay, this is it. This is where things go bad. Uh, I'm going to have to just 
Uh, 3 times 10 gets me 30. We need to add that to 0. We need to get a 7 on it quickly. We don't have a 7, so we need to take 1 away from 8. Then we need to go and add that to the set, that to diffuse it. Okay. We diffused. We diffused. However, oh, look at this. There's a bonus for optional. Match the answer to the following equation. What? <laughs> so if you ma isn't it for how many times does isn't that like one point eight? <laughs> so if oh or have I gotta just do this? I guess I can just do nine divided by five, right? Yeah, that's a tricky one. How did I do that? Hmm. Yeah, not too sure how I did that. Hello, Steve. Nice to see you. Anyway, we're going to focus on the, the main objective, right? Uh, which was to get up. So we need to get another 10. Uh, 4 plus 6. Okay, go for that. We've got 130. We need to make 37. So we can do 7 times 5. That's what we were trying to do before. Before we got... Okay, this can be added. Okay. We, so every multiplier higher you are, the more likely it's going to turn into a bomb as well. All right, let's do. Let's try it. Please don't. Please don't bomb me. Okay, good. Add these. We got our first leap tile, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot move this. It is set in stone. Um. So let us now try and get another one of those to win the game. Uh. So yeah, our little combo they worked well of just doing a. Uh, uh, 10 times 13. You could probably do more than that. You probably do like a 12 times 13 or something as well, which would get us kind of close. Uh, 36. Mm. The thing is, if you just bring random numbers together, you've got to remember how to get there. That's going to be really tricky if it turns into a bomb. Um, so we might stop using that tile because I can't remember how I'd get there. Um, okay, so let's just plan, uh, do, let's try to do 13 times 10 and then we'll times that by 13. So we got our 10 and we need to get 13. For, uh, we can add five to eight and times that. And then we want to times that by 13. So six plus seven, do we have a seven anywhere? No. Uh, four plus nine, do we have that? No. Six plus seven, no, we don't. No, well, we can make them, I guess, but it's just gonna give us bigger numbers to go with. But all right, let's do that to make a nine. Let's make 13 through adding four to that. Let's times that. Oh, I was wrong and it's turned into a bomb. Oh no, what was I on? It was 130, uh, six plus four. Uh, then we need to make a 5. I don't have that. 7 plus 6. Then we need to times these together. Get 130. Uh, then we needed to get 13, which is 5 plus, uh, plus 2. Ah, we lost. We lost the game. That was bad. I, sh I did a wrong calculation. 13 times 130. Uh, what I meant <laughs> in my head, I was like, oh, just 13 times 3 would take us closer to 1339, and then we could subtract 2. But no, I was a fool. I did some wrong calculation. Uno Maestro, did you see the castle we just played last stand? You used to make fun of me for that castle. All right, so that was the wonderful Honest Dan's Late.